Columns Japanese, Koramusu Hepburn, Koramusu is a match three puzzle video game created by Jay Geertsen in 1989. Early versions of the game were ported across early computer platforms and Atari Street. In 1990, Jay Geertsen sold the rights to Sega, who ported the game to several Sega consoles. Gameplay Columns was one of the many same-game, Tetris-like tile-matching puzzle games to appear after its great success in the late 1980s. The area of play is enclosed within a tall, rectangular playing area. Columns of three different symbols such as differently colored jewels appear, one at a time, at the top of the well and fall to the bottom, landing either on the floor or on top of previously fallen columns. While a column is falling, the player can move it left and right, and can also cycle the positions of the symbols within it. After a column lands, if three or more of the same symbols are connected in a horizontal, vertical, or diagonal line, those symbols disappear. The pile of columns then settles under gravity. If this resettlement causes three or more other symbols to align, they too disappear and the cycle repeats. Occasionally, a special column with a multicolor magic jewel appears. It destroys all the jewels with the same color as the one underneath it. The columns fall at a faster rate as the player progresses. The goal of the game is to play for as long as possible before the well fills up with jewels, which ends the game. Players can score up to 99,999 points. Some ports of the game offer alternate game modes as well. Flash columns involves mining their way through a set number of lines to get to a flashing jewel at the bottom. Doubles allows two players work together in the same well. Time trial involves racking up as many points as possible within the time limit. Topic ports, sequels, and clones Columns was the first pack in game for the Sega Game Gear. This version was slightly different from the Mega Drive version and its soundtrack was transposed and rearranged due to the limitations of the handheld sound chip. While the columns themselves were updated for the Mega Drive version, the overall decoration was less like a cartoon in the Game Gear version and instead more artistically designed. Lastly, the Game Gear version had a feature that let the player change the jewels to fruit, squares, dice, or card shapes clubs, diamonds, spades. Many sequels and spin-offs were produced, Columns 2, The Voyage Through Time, Columns 3, Revenge of Columns, Columns 97, Sakura Taisen, Hanagumi Taisen Columns 1 and 2, and many compilations and re-releases Columns Arcade Collection, Sega Ages Vol. 07, Columns as well. Because Columns was made by Sega, versions were made available on the Master System, Mega Drive, Mega CD, Game Gear, Saturn, and Dreamcast. Additional versions of the game have also been made available on PC Engine, Game Boy Advance, and PlayStation 2. The Game Boy Color version was specifically called Columns GB, Osamu Tezuka characters, where it featured many of his characters such as Kimba and Astro Boy, but also featured slightly less known characters such as Unico. On November 7, 2006, Columns was released as part of the game's Sega Genesis collection for the PlayStation 2, and later on another release of the above compilation for PlayStation Portable. On December 4, 2006 the title was released on Nintendo's Virtual Console for 800 Wii points. It is also included on Sonic's Ultimate Genesis Collection for the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360. Most recently the game was ported to iOS by Sega. Columns has also been cloned many times across different platforms. Music. Tokahiko Awabo composed the music for Columns. The song, Clotho, is named after the Greek Moira of the same name, related to the Greek flavor of some of the game's art. The other main songs are titled, Atropos, and Lathesis, Sick, Other, Moirai. Reception and legacy Reviewing the game's appearance in Sega Arcade Classics for the Sega CD, Glenn Rubinstein gave it a B+, describing it as like Tetris but a bit better. Mega placed the game at number 34 in their top Mega Drive games of all time. 